Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Tachu Ninja, and this is gonna be an impromptu Let's Play that I'm starting. Obviously the title screen we're gonna be playing Infamous, and I'll get a little bit more into why I'm playing this game after the intro. So let's get started by pressing start. plus six minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. First thing we need to do is turn on the subtitles because we need those. <laughs> and then we're going to turn this to medium. Heads up display and camera inverted. All right. So this kind of this I decided to do. Oh Jesus! Oh, I don't want that. I want this to be normal. <laughs> there you go. I kind of just decided to this playthrough at the last second, and the reason for that is there's a couple reasons. First being in a couple weeks. Once the PlayStation Store goes up, this game will actually be free for everyone to download. It's one of those um, skips. What the hell's going on? I think there was an explosion. Second. No shit, there was an explosion. TV says terrorists are blowing stuff up all over the city. Meet me at the free market. Why is it my options here? I don't want it. I want normal. There we go. Find some place to hunker down. Game two stop. What the hell? Should be dead. Like I was saying, because the if you all know the PlayStation Network went down and since it went back up, Man. they're gonna be giving you a gift of either downloading this game, Little Big Planet, or Dead Nation. And I own this game, so I'm not gonna obviously download it. But so that's the first reason. So it's gonna give you more opportunity for me to play it, more people to play it. That is. As well, I really want to play it again because it's an awesome game. And finally, in a couple weeks on June seventh, I think the the second one will be coming out, and I plan to do a let's play of that as well. So I thought it would make more sense if I, if you haven't experienced this game before, that I can make videos for you guys to watch it, and when I do make the let's play. Things will make a little bit more sense to you guys, right? Right. Oh, okay, I'm not supposed to jump off there. <laughs> Whoopsies. So those are my reasons for it. And I also wanted to kind of transition. Uh, mostly I've been po uh, posting just LA Noir for you guys to watch. And maybe some people don't like watching that. Maybe need a little bit of a break from it. So I decided, why not? Let's just try a different game. See how it goes. Get zapped again, as you can see. And Infamous 2 is one of those re games I'm really, really excited for uh, coming up in the second quarter of this year. And I'm really going to be playing the hell out of that one. And one second. If you want to, we'll check something out really quickly. Just to guys to give you a heads up. I have beaten this game before, as you can see. 100% uh, teal, as well as other games, but I'll show you guys that anytime soon. But yeah, I played the crap out of this game, and I'm looking real looking forward to the next one, so hopefully things will work out. And there are people here.
Oh crap. As you can see, we're a gigantic lightning rod right here. <laughs> and we're leaving the area that just got demolished by that nuke that just went off. Someone must have got 25 kills in a row. Sliding into unconsciousness, I can somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft. Rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. I gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. I thought you were gonna watch TV. Ah, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. All right, so we gotta go. To, it's kind of just training right here. We gotta charge up this TV for this bro. So charge batteries by zapping them. Hold L1 and L1 to fire. All right. Where's... Well, hurry it? up, dude. We're gonna miss there all the good go. showers. Sorry, I just gotta get my bearings here. Remember everything, how this goes. But just playing this already, just, this game looks freaking awesome graphics-wise. It's kind of... I forgot, kind of forgot how uh, how good it was. Any more? Uh, this thing's gonna use a couple more shots. Is that it? Oh. My bad, I'm actually supposed to shoot the uh, green parts, not those. Nice. Nice job, man! That should Blue be good. Tubes are working. Weird. It feels like I got more power. Yeah? But try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. Zap! Yeah, lay into it, man! Frying Zap! Zap. Yeah, okay, I'm bored now. Let's go kill some bad guys. Really? Come on. Zap them all. I think that should be good. Oh, airplane. So low, thought it was gonna crash into us. What am I supposed to do now, bro? Oh, hey, he's TV's a TV changing. Jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars will the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share. The more is coming. <laughs> That's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this cell hole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned, and no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of survival out. Told All right, drop food. Man, you must be out of your mind. Mish. Think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from pigging out, though, is it? 
Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Ah, oh, man. You get to have all the fun. Mission Stalto. Alrighty. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Well, that was one hell of a jump, man. I wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Yeah, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole, before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> Look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on. Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big sloppy slice. Dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big fat wad. Bills in your pocket. I'll give you a big yeah, fat wad. Some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's? And I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> you pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome! <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. Alright, now that these two oh, homos are done talking... <laughs> he told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. Shockwave! Nope, not left one. Nope. Right one. Nope. Man, I suck. Probability sucks for me. <laughs> Hellacious! Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was this Got surge. To hey, recharge. Man, so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. Uh, I'll. Three L2 to recharge. There you go. This is your lifeline. Man, you're a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. Oh, this rock's so hard. Come on, let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. Oh, So this game actually operates on some sort of a morality system where it's kind of like Fable where your choices impact uh, some of the stuff that happens as well. The bigger thing is how you look. So I'm going to be playing this playthrough as a good guy so I'm going to be mostly blue. But if you play it as an evil person then you're going to be like a bright red and you just don't look so hot. But I've always been a good guy myself so we're just going to stick with that theme the entire time. Woo! Boy, it's stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but uh, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. Alright, so we gotta do a little bit of a monkey climb right here. Let's jump on poles. There you go. Nice. The, the, uh, the controls are very tight and intuitive in this game. When you try to jump on something, he drops on fairly well, which is what was really good, especially since uh, this game relies on a lot of complex movements and stuff, as you can see. Uh, so it's like a, it's kind of like auto aim, but it's like auto 
I guess it's what I would say auto platforming, if you will. You can control this, this down completely by yourself, but as you can see. So we just gotta aim and shoot this baby down. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> right here. Yeah, we are eating. That's where I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. Jump down. Thunder drop attack! Boom, bitches! Nice wounded kill. Where are these guys at? Sit down, sit down. It's kinda, you're kinda OP here. <laughs> There's not really much these guys can do to kill you. There you go. Finish them off. Where are the rest of them? Any more? Oh, there you go. Kinda, like I said, there's really nothing much that these guys can do to hurt you unless you're really, really bad. <laughs> Other than that, you, obviously you'll get more powers when the games progress on, so right now we're just standard shooting with the, um, the lightning bolt. And then uh, I can knock them back with the blast if you want. Here's three, like three more. Like there. So as you can see, I use a lot of my electricity. So I gotta find a source. Right here looks good. I'll, I'll see, there's a source right here. Anytime you shoot, you use some of your powers. So if you use too much, then you you run out of battery basically. But there's always some set of electricity around that you can get too. Here comes the first morality uh, decision making right here. Enough to feed the three of us for weeks, maybe longer. Then if I fry a couple people in the crowd, the rest will run away. The food will be all ours. But some of these guys might starve. So we're gonna be a nice guy and share the food right here. If I shot them, they, if I shoot one guy, then they all just run away. In the meantime, I'm gonna take this opportunity to recharge my batteries. I got one open. Let's eat. There go. Good action. Enhances my good reputation. So your reputation also affects how people react around you as well. Karma. It's called a karma system in this game. I forgot. But anyways, as you can see, it affects your appearance. Blue is good. Red is bad. Any button to Hey, Trish. Oh, I'm so glad you got the food down. These poor people are starving. Just doing what I can. Someone had to help them. Those idiots dropped us canned prunes. Now who the hell want to eat this crap? But I think that is good for the first episode, so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this series. It'll be a little bit different, and it'll get us prepped in time for... Oh, we're on TV. Look at that. <laughs> it'll get us ready for Infamous 2 when that game comes out, alright? Take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.